I'm Christina Rogers, Senior Software Engineer in the LabVIEW R&D Group at National Instruments, and you're watching Eyes on VIs. Last year, I helped make one of the VIs for an NI Week keynote demo a little more visually appealing. In this video, I'd like to show you the customizations I made to a slider control for that project. When customizing controls, I usually start with controls off the Classic palette. For this project, I started with the vertical pointer slide. Now to customize this control, you can either select it and go to the Edit menu and choose Customize Control, or you can right-click on the control itself and go to the Advanced Pull Right and select Customize. This will open the control in the Control Editor. Note that the Control Editor lets you change the appearance of a control, but not its functionality. If we go to Show the Parts window from the Windows menu, we can see all the pieces of the control that we can change the appearance of. As I cycle through the parts in the parts window, you may notice that showing the parts window has put the control editor into customize mode. There's a little button on the toolbar that looks like tweezers. I can click that and go back to regular edit mode and see all the same right click menu options that I see when I'm using the control on a regular VI. From here I can change the scale style so that it just shows the major tick marks. Now let's go back to the parts window and find the thumb. This is the piece that I want to change the appearance of. If I right click on it, notice that I have various options for getting the new image. There are any number of sources for nice professional graphics that you can use for customizing your controls, but for this project I made my own. If you would like to follow along, you can get it from my website, eyesonvis.com, under the image archive. I'm going to get the blue slider thumb image that I made and save it to disk. I'll just save it as thumbblue.png. Notice that it's a PNG file, which means it has transparency. LabVIEW will preserve that transparency when I import it from file. And there we have our slider with a custom thumb. If I turn off customize mode, I can use the operate tool to move the thumb of the slider, and it functions just like it did before. Now for this demo, the uh, scale markers don't uh, have to be precise, so I just want some indication of plus and minus to indicate the direction for the slider. I'm going to select all my text and make it bigger since this demo is for an NIWeek keynote demo and would be projected on the big screen. And go ahead and make the text bold as well. Now I'll move my text into place. Notice the blue rectangle, which indicates that the text is snapping to the top center of the control. And I'll move my plus and minus to approximately where I want them to be. And to make sure they're lined up correctly, I'll use the alignment tools from the toolbar to make sure that their horizontal centers are aligned. Now I'm going to save the control. I'll just call it blue slider. From this point, I could apply the changes from the file menu, but if I just close the control editor and I have not applied the changes, LabVIEW will prompt me to replace the original control. Now one thing I want to explain about custom controls is whether they are linked or not to the file. Notice that if I customize the control I just made, I get a new control2 in the control editor. That's because that control was not linked to the file I saved before. So we'll close that without saving. Now if I open the file that I had saved before and change it from a control to a strict type def, then all instances of this control that I drop from now on will be linked to this file. Strict type defs are useful if you want to have multiple controls that are all defined in a single location so that you can make one change and propagate it to all the instances. I'll drop the, type the strict type def. And notice that when I customize the strict type def instance, I go back to the strict type def control file. And one more customization I want to make to this slider is to hide the increment and decrement arrows. I'm just going to do that by coloring them transparent. Whoops, so first I need to move the thumb out of the way. And we'll go back to the parts window. And I'm going to shift right click to get the tools palette and get the paintbrush tool. And then right click on the decrement and make it transparent. And I'll just use the paintbrush tool to make the increment triangle transparent as well. 
save that, close it, and shift right click to get the tools palette again to turn my auto tool back on, and there you have it. Thanks for watching. Eyes on VIs.